Hello, aviation enthusiasts. Welcome back to Skyward Fighter. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of advanced fighter jets with a look at the X-44 Manta, the secret weapon that's redefining American air power. Back in 1999, Lockheed Martin envisioned the X-44 Manta, a stealth fighter derived from the F-22. What set the X-44 apart was its innovative Delta-style design, eliminating the need for a conventional tail. Instead of traditional tail surfaces for vertical and horizontal control, the Manta relied on thrust vectoring, a technique that directs engine thrust to give the aircraft unparalleled agility in intense aerial combat. Fast forward to today, and this very concept is a cornerstone in the development of the United States Air Force's next air superiority fighter under the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program. Just last year, the Air Force surprised the world by announcing the successful development, construction, and testing of a prototype aircraft under this initiative. This new jet promises to outclass all previous fighter aircraft, specifically designed to dominate advanced fifth-generation fighters from Russia and China, securing American air superiority for decades. The X-44 Manta, with its sleek design and advanced features, was a revolutionary step in fighter aircraft development. Most modern fighters feature a conventional tail with vertical and horizontal control surfaces. While the F-22 and later the F-35 have slightly modified tails compared to fourth-generation fighters like the F-16, the X-44 aimed to achieve similar maneuverability without any rear surfaces. This tailless design significantly reduces the aircraft's radar signature, making it stealthier than even the formidable F-22. Lockheed Martin teamed up with NASA to bring this ambitious concept to life. Creating an agile, tailless fighter jet heavily relied on thrust vectoring to navigate effectively. Thrust vectoring allows precise control over the direction of a jet engine nozzle. For instance, the F-22 Raptor's nozzles can move up or down, while Russia's Su-35 features nozzles that move 360 degrees for dramatic maneuverability. The X-44 Manta wasn't the only F-22 base project on the Pentagon's drawing board. While the X-44 focused on enhancing the F-22's agility and stealth by removing the tail, another project, the Sea Raptor, aimed to adapt the F-22 for use on America's supercarriers, offering faster, longer-range aircraft with greater ordnance capacity than the F-35C. If the X-44 Manta could match the F-22's performance while being harder to detect, it would have been a game-changer. Not only did it offer superior stealth, but it also had a greater capacity for carrying weapons. The X-44 Manta's ultimate goal was to create a stealth fighter even better than the F-22 Raptor, aligning perfectly with the objectives of the NGAD program. However, it's important to remember that the X-44 concept dates back to 1999, making its design as outdated as the F-35. The NGAD fighter was specifically developed to counter threats from Chinese J-20 and Russian Su-57, both of which started development around the same time as the X-44. Therefore, simply reviving and upgrading the X-44 concept wouldn't fully meet the NGAD program's requirements. Given that much of the X-44 was based on the now discontinued F-22, restarting its production would be as costly as developing a brand new fighter from scratch. The NGAD program's overarching aim is to develop key technologies that would provide the Air Force with air dominance. These technologies revolve around several areas such as propulsion, stealth, advanced weapons, digital design, KD-based engineering, and thermal management of the aircraft signature. The program changes traditional Air Force acquisition by separating design, production, and support functions in the development process with a budget of $9 billion through 2025. More frequent industry competitions and simulations in the design and manufacturing process are characteristic of the development program. Given the advancements in technology and the shift in requirements since the F-22's inception, restarting its production would not meet the current and future needs outlined by the NGAD program. 
Moreover, the cost implications of reviving the F-22 production line would be substantial. The development of a new fighter jet, especially one that incorporates the latest in stealth, propulsion, and avionics, is an expensive endeavor. The F-35 program, for example, has become the most expensive weapon program in military history, with costs expected to reach $1.5 trillion over the operational life of the aircraft. Similarly, the NGAD's future fighter program could be one of the most expensive aircraft programs in history, with each piloted, sixth-generation aircraft expected to cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Therefore, restarting the production of the F-22, much of which the X-44 was based on, would be as costly as developing a brand new fighter from scratch. It would not only require significant financial investment, but also fail to align with the forward-looking vision and requirements of the NGAD program. The focus is now on creating a system that can adapt to evolving threats and technologies ensuring the U.S. Air Force maintains air superiority into the future. That wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.